going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Poole and I'm a photographer and video creator. I'm just at this school. Um, it's got this cool baseball diamond with like an old scoreboard and stuff. So we're just gonna see what we can do. And uh, yeah, just get some cool photos. That's the, that's the whole idea for today. So this is a pretty dope staircase, like there. And I'm gonna shoot that next. I think it's pretty cool. Get like as much of a straight on shot as I can, but there's like a huge wall right here that I can't go any further. So I'm limited on how much I can. I'm shooting at 35 mil, so we'll see how much I get in. If not, then I'll just have to get creative. Whenever I do street photography or any kind of uh, um, photography that doesn't have like a lot of like life or like hero aspects to it, I always use one of these diffuser filters, whether it's a mist filter, whether it's a Cinebloom, something like that. So I think it gives it like a vintage 70s kind of feel and it makes you feel like you're there. It makes you feel like you're seeing it with your eyes and I really enjoy that aspect of having a filter like that. So. So all the photos in this video, they were all shot on my Canon EOS R uh, with 35 mil Sigma 1.4. And then I have a Cinebloom 20% diffuser on. That's just my go-to photography setup. And then I film with my other camera. I think that the EOS R actually looks better for photo. 
Um, it's a higher megapixel. It has a nicer shutter sound. I'm just used to it. For video, I prefer the R6, but whatever. Let's shoot this cool building. This photo just fires me up. I like. I love how it's half and half. I think that that looks super cool. So this type of environment right now is actually reminding me of when I was a kid. So up until I was like probably 15 or so, whenever it would rain, I would always be inside because it's raining or I'd be on like a patio or something or I'd be just enjoying the rain, listening to the rain, smelling the rain. After the rain, I would always hop on my bike, my skateboard, go meet up with a friend or something and just go like roam around. I always got so much enjoyment out of that because one, there's like no one around, two, the smell of after rain is just like to die for. It's one of my favorite smells. And then just like the colors of everything, the colors like are really rich, they're really vibrant. I don't know about you guys, but I always have a hard time looking into like a really sunny day. I'm always squinting and like, like just blinding myself. So like when it's overcast, I can actually have my eyes open like normal. You know, you can see like if you're on your phone or something, you can see it, you can see it in your camera, you can review your photos. There's just so many benefits. And then for the actual art of photography, Diffused light, which is overcast weather, is just perfect. It's just beautiful. So, yeah, this is cool. Like, I, this is super nostalgic. And then I'm also like, you know, walking through like an arena school kind of area. And I used to live in an area like that. So I'd always like be in this environment. So, yeah, this is really nostalgic and I'm really enjoying it. Just super peaceful, you know? So I was right there, I could see over by this dumpster over here, there's like a couch. <laughs> I think that would make a cool photo. So we're gonna go take a photo of this couch. Random couch. How cool. So just behind you is the scoreboard that we referred to in the very start of the video. I actually can't get in there because it's all gated up and I'm assuming that's because of COVID and everything. Um, because right now, currently in Ontario, everything is locked down. We're on a stay at home order. Um, I'm actually only like three minutes from my house, so it's not a big deal, but um, I don't think I'll be able to go in there. But this angle is actually even cooler because we're shooting into the sun and you get to see the school, the bleachers, everything. So I'm actually more excited about this angle. I think the other way would have, wouldn't have looked as good anyway. It would look good with the scoreboard part, but um, what can you do? Nothing, nothing's perfect, you know? So my camera settings right now are 1 250th of a second for the shutter speed. Pretty standard. I like to have a decently fast shutter speed for most of my photos if I can. It's also weird lighting right now. So we're kind of shooting into the sun. So we want to like darken things off a little more. Uh, F2.8, um, that's just so I make sure I get like enough depth in the photo. Normally I try to shoot at 1.4 as much as I can just to really accentuate that bokeh. But right now 2.8, not too bad. And then uh, ISO 100. Always try to keep ISO as low as possible. So I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm heading home because I have a blister on my foot and it's driving me insane. If you've already subscribed, cheers to you. Just assault the like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Peace and love, y'all.